Welcome back to this week's episode of Animal of the Week. So once again we're doing a nice clickbaity named animal, scorpion flies. Funny how most of the good clickbaity names come from insects. The name scorpion fly refers to an entire order of insects, Mechoptera, with over 600 individual species and 9 families. So technically they aren't actually flies, they are their own order of fly-like animals. The scorpion part comes from their obvious scorpion-like tail with its large stinger-looking thing. It's actually not a stinger, but the class of the male uses to mate with, essentially its genitalia. Being an entire order of animals means that they live almost everywhere, minus Madagascar and a few small islands around the world. They're found in Japan, Taiwan and the UK, but it's believed they are able to reach these areas due to land bridges that once existed to these islands. They are also present in Australia, however this continent has not had a land bridge to it in the recent 100,000 years. But Mechoptera is very old, dating back to the Upper Permian, and so it may have just been on Australia the whole time. Some live in desert conditions, and even some in cold snowy climates, but most species of scorpion fly inhabit moist wetlands, grasslands and woodlands and thrive in the wet leaf litter. The leaf litter provides an excellent environment for these insects to feed in. Scorpion flies have a very wide-ranging diet due to how widespread the order is. Some scorpion flies are carnivorous scavengers, feeding upon dead insects amongst their leaf litter, and others eat flies stuck in spider webs and sometimes even the spiders themselves. Hanging flies, a family of scorpion flies, feed by dangling their long legs and catching insects mid-flight. Other scorpion flies prefer to feast on carrion and others' larvae. As well as scavenging all this meat, they may also consume decaying vegetation, nectar and even pollen from flowers. What they do and don't eat depends heavily on where they are in the world, with desert-dwelling scorpion flies obviously not being able to feed on moist decaying vegetation. The mating process with these animals is actually rather nice and far less aggressive than many others. Males will secrete pheromones to attract females, and then most males will produce some sort of edible gift for the female, such as a caterpillar or a brown secretion that the females will consume if it wishes to mate. The larger the gift of food, the longer the male has to mate and the more successful it will be. As soon as the female starts to eat, the males will use its stinger-like appendage, which is actually its genitalia, and grasp onto the females behind and begin to mate while the female eats her snack. The female will lay eggs in moist areas as the eggs need to absorb water and expand. Of course, for those living in arid conditions, the eggs will hatch after the dry season is finished, which can mean they stay as eggs for many months. The larvae will look like weird caterpillar things, and just like most insects do, they spend the early stages of their life foraging on decaying vegetation and insects. Interestingly, when they enter the pupa stage, they do not go into a cocoon. They simply bury themselves in soil or decaying vegetation. Once again, in arid conditions, the same is carried out, but over a longer time frame. Well, the obvious one, the scorpion-like stinger, has already been explained. It's simply there to house the male's genitalia. The females do also have tails, but they do not possess a large stinger-like thing, only a hole where the male puts their stinger-like thing. An interesting piece of behaviour, which isn't exactly an adaptation, but is too interesting not to mention, is their habit of eating human corpses. As they are scavengers, they will eat really any meat they can find, which includes human. Don't worry, they won't attack a live human, but a dead one is an easy meal to them. This tendency to eat human flesh is incredibly useful in the field of forensics, as it was discovered that scorpion flies are the first insects to arrive to corpse, and will stay there for a day and a half. This allows forensics teams to date bodies in crime scenes very easily, which can help massively in criminal investigations. So really, we should be thanking these little flies for their service to justice. Just ignore the fact that they eat dead humans. Scorpion flies are predatory and so other insects tend to stay away from them, but being so widespread around the world means that they must run into some sort of trouble. This stinger-like appendage is likely to ward off some predators, and it certainly keeps humans away, despite the fact that it is completely harmless, unless you're already dead. The extent of the order means it's unlikely to go extinct, it lasted since the Permian, so it will probably last longer. Also, it is an entire order and it's really hard for an entire one of those to go extinct, but individual species certainly have. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.